Hi, good El Shabbat here from Sheni. I'd like to share with you some words of um, inspiration and strengthening as we face this difficult, challenging time together. And perhaps that's our first message, that we are in this together and together we will get through this and together we'll become better people, a better community and a better humankind. Um, and let's share with you a message from this week's Torah portion that we would have been reading in synagogue this Shabbat. Uh, we have a double portion, that of Vayakhel and Pekude. Let's have a look at their names. Vayakhel means to gather together. Moses was gathering Jewish people together to teach them an important lesson. They were about to uh, construct the tabernacle, uh, the first, I suppose, the original synagogue in the desert. But the message was they were not to do this on the Sabbath, on the Shabbat because Shabbat overrides the construction. Why was that? Because the Shabbat is, itself is a sanctuary. It is a sanctuary in time. And I was kind of hoping the government would be putting out lots of uh, policies to be able to protect us. And I was hoping that maybe they would try a new policy, that of having a 25 hour period whereby um, they would ban any use of social media, any use of television, in order that we can bring down our levels of anxiety and just be. Because that is what Shabbat allows us to do. Every week we have this opportunity and now more than ever we do need this opportunity to be with our families and to have that precious time as really the whole situation that we're facing at the moment is giving us this opportunity to realize what is important in life. And we should do this with um, joy I know it's a difficult situation, but each one of us has a responsibility to be uh, to act as a source of calm um, and um, influence on each other for the good. Um, so Shabbat is going to be difficult. What can we do? But let's make the most of it. Let's get ready for Shabbat. You can uh, you can sign into um, you can sign into pre-Shabbat a live Kabbalah Shabbat services as we're doing here in Shenley. And then once Shabbat actually comes in, let's make Kiddush, let's sit down as families, let's talk, let's sing together. And then let's get a good night's sleep in the morning. We can get up and we can um, take our siddur and the chumash and go through the services as best as we can do. And then again, we have time to maybe go for a walk or sit down for lunch and, and enjoy the Shabbat. Find a book that we can read, um, go for an, another walk, have a nice, have a nice rest. At the end of Shabbat, we'll have this detoxing effect. We can turn our phones on on, on all our devices and after Shabbat and we would be able to face the world with a sense of strength and a sense of the connection that we've had by experiencing a true Shabbat. Um, finally, to share with you um, that when we conclude the Torah reading tomorrow, we will say the words Chazak, Chazak Vanit Chazek, which means be strong, be strong and be strengthened. And each one of us, as I said, has a responsibility to strengthen ourselves. Uh, strengthen our sense of identity, strengthen our, sen sen uh, our sense of connection, which, we, which Shabbat helps us to do. And through that, let's go, we'll, we'll utilize the Shabbat and we'll become stronger people and a stronger community to face the challenges ahead. I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.